bagi matia gara lupa matuto di terus ke akin channel Sir Jawa. Good day everyone. Our objective today is about multi-step problem solving involving whole numbers and decimals. This objective is your week 6 objective in your module. So, tuturuan kayo ng sir kung paano masosolve yung problems given dyan sa inyong module. Pero, kayo rin dapat magsosolve. Kumbaga, ibibigay lang ng sir yung possible uh, mathematical sentence na kailangan ninyo to solve the problem. But still, kayo pa rin ang kinakailangang mag-solve. So, okay ba yun? If yes, get your scratch paper and ball pens para nang sa ganun, makapagsimula na tayo. Ready na ba kayo? If yes, allow me to read problem number one. Mr. Fernandez earns 28 pesos and 50 centavos per hour as an office clerk. He earns 1.75 times as his regular rate for overtime. His regular work is 40 hours per week. He gets overtime pay if he works more than 40 hours. How much is his total earning if he works 45 hours in one week? week. So, again, kunin na natin ang ating ball pen at papel para makapag-solve na tayo nitong problem na ito. Ready? Okay, let us now begin. To answer this problem, ano ang una nating gagawin? So, let us consider muna yung regular work pay of Mr. Fernandez per week. So, since sabi dito, ang regular pay ni Mr. Fernandez per hour ay 28 pesos and 50 centavos. And since his regular work is 40 hours, multiply natin siya by 40. So, ito yung una ninyong Kukunin. Okay? Then, pagkatapos, to continue solving, kunin naman natin yung kasunod. Ano naman yung kasunod? He earns 1.75 times as his regular rate for overtime. Kapag nag-overtime si Mr. Fernandez, yung basic pay na 28 pesos and 50 centavos ay multiply sa 1.75. Okay? So, ito rin yung kasunod ninyong kukunin. Now, pag nakuha natin yung sagot dito sa letter B, your next step is what? Your answer in B ay multiply naman ninyo sa 5. Bakit? Kasi... Mr. Fernandez works 45 hours. So, instead of 40, nagtrabaho siya ng 45 hours. So, there is an excess of 5 hours dun sa kanyang regular work na 40 hours. Kaya, multiply natin yung sagot dito dahil yun ang lalabas na nag-overtime si Mr. Fernandez ng limang oras. And, to answer the problem, gagawin lang natin your answer in letter A plus your answer in what? In letter C. Para masagot yung tanong na yung total earning if he works 45 hours in one week. Ayos? Ayos. Problem number two. Lucy earns 1525 a week. She sets aside 15% of this for savings. How much does she save in a year? 
Hint, one year is equivalent to 52 weeks. So, madali lang itong problem number two. Ang gagawin muna natin is what? 1,525 ay imumultiply lang natin sa 15%, which is 0 0.15. Then, ito ngayon yung inyong kukunin. Okay? Now, pag nakuha ninyo yung product nitong dalawa, 1,525 and 1,500s, to continue your answer, in letter A, ay imumultiply lang ninyo saan? Sa number of weeks na 52. And then, kung ano yung sagot, then that's the answer on this problem number 2. Okay? Ayos. Problem number 3. Mrs. Briones has a monthly pay of 50,000 pesos. The withholding tax deducted from her monthly salary is 5,275 and 75 centavos. Or 5,275 pesos and 75 centavos. The question is, what is the actual pay she receives in a year? So, to solve this problem, Ano muna ang inyong gagawin? Your, the actual income of Mr. Uh, Mrs. Briones, kung walang deduction, a month is 50,000. Okay? But since there is a deduction of 5,275 pesos and 75 centavos, kailangan mo siyang isubtract. Okay? So, kapag nakuha nyo yung sagot dito sa letter A, to continue answering the problem, ang gagawin mo naman ay your answer in letter A, okay, ay imumultiply ninyo saan? Sa 12. Bakit 12? Kasi meron tayong 12 months in a year. And then, Kung ano yung magiging sagot dito, so yun yung answer dun sa tanong na total actual pay she receives in a year. Ayos? Ayos. Problem number four. A clerk is paid 45 pesos and 50 centavos per hour for 40 hours per week, 1.50 times regular rate for overtime, and double the regular for a holiday. How much does the clerk get if he works overtime for 3 hours and 5 hours on a holiday? Now, in this problem, i-consider natin na yung clerk ay nagtrabaho for 1 week with 3 hours overtime and 5 hours holiday. So, nagkataon, dun sa week na yun, merong holiday. And, nagtrabaho siya ng 5 hours. So, how can we solve the problem? Tingnan natin. Sa una, 45 pesos and 50 centavos ay i-multiply mo sa 40 hours. Okay? Kunwari, normal lang. Nagtrabaho lang siya ng 40 hours with a rate of 45 pesos and 50 centavos. Okay? Now, dahil there is an overtime work na ginawa yung clerk, ay di yung rate of 45 pesos and 50 centavos ay i-multiply natin by 1.50 or 1.5. Okay? So, eto naman yung merong uh, overtime na rate. Okay? Now, since it is clearly stated na nagtrabaho siya for 3 hours overtime, 
your answer in letter B ay di i-multiply mo naman by 3. Okay? So, ayos. Tapos na tayo sa overtime. Now, sabi sa problem, double the regular rate for a holiday. Since nag-work siya ng holiday, so ang mangyayari, alamin muna natin. Yung 45 pesos and 50 centavos times 2. Bakit times 2? Kasi nga, double the regular rate for holiday. Okay? Now, dahil nag-work siya 5 hours on a holiday, your answer in letter D, multiply mo siya by 5. Kasi nga, nag-work siya 5 hours on a holiday. Okay? And lastly, para malaman natin yung kanyang total payment or total income on that particular week, ay di pag a na natin yung sagot mo sa A, okay, plus your answer in what? In C, and of course, plus your answer in letter E. So, kapag nakuha mo na to, okay, and this is your final answer dun sa tanong, now, how much does the clerk get if he works overtime for 3 hours and 5 hours on a holiday? Okay? Ayos. Problem number 5. Sarah works 8.5 hours a day from Monday to Friday and 6.75 hours on Saturday. If she is paid 55 pesos and 25 centavos per hour, how much does she earn in a week? Okay? Now, to solve the problem, ang una muna natin gagawin, yung rate na 55 pesos and 25 centavos, ay i-multiply muna natin by 8.5. Five. Okay? Kasi nga, she works 8.5 hours a day. Now, pag nakuha mo yung sagot dito sa letter A, so your answer in letter A ay multiply mo naman sa 5. Bakit multiply sa 5? Kasi nga, she works from Monday to Friday. So, meron siyang 5 days working na kung saan ay 8.5 hours per day. Kaya, your answer in A ay multiply sa 5. Okay? And then, next is, tingnan naman natin yung Saturday. So, since same rate, 55 pesos and 25 centavos, multiply natin siya by 6.75 Bakit by 6.75? Kasi nga, she also works on Saturday na kung saan ay 6.75 hours Since same rate lang naman 55.25 times 6.75 lang ang gagawin Okay? Now, para makuha yung sagot sa tanong your answer in letter B plus your answer in what? Letter C. So, kapag nakuha natin ito, this is the answer dun sa tanong na how much does she earn in a week? Ayos? Ayos. Problem number six, our last problem. Mr. Paron sells fruits in the market. Banana costs 25 pesos per kilogram. And grapes cost 180 pesos per kilogram. A customer bought 5.25 kilos of banana and 3.75 kilograms of grapes. How much will the customer pay? Okay. 
Now, to answer the problem, at first, let us have what? The 25 pesos or the number of kilograms of banana bought by a customer is 5.25 kilos. And since a banana costs 25 pesos per kilogram, we multiply natin siya by 25. So, ito ang una nyong kukunin or gagawin. Okay? And then, what's next? Yung kasunod naman is yung grades. Since meron siyang binili na 3.75 kilograms, Tapos, ang presyo ng grapes ay 180 per kilogram. So, i-multiply nyo rin yung 3.75 and 180 pesos. So, kung ano yung sagot dito, okay, yun yung gagamitin natin later. And to get the total amount that the customer paid, ay di madali lang. Your answer in letter A plus your answer in letter B. So this is our final answer. Ayos? Ayos. So, sana lang lahat ng ating examples ay masold nyo ng tama upang sa gayon ay makatama kayo sa ating module number 6 which is multi-step problem solving involving whole numbers and decimals. Thank you! Muli po, maraming salamat sa inyong mathiagang pakikinig upang matuto dito sa aking channel, Sir Joel. But please do not forget to click like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more notifications. Thank you, thank you!